Hey, James here from goodguitarist.com, and in this video, we're going to practice switching from a G chord to a D chord. Chord switching is one of the biggest hurdles for beginning guitarists, and the reason why we're just switching between two at a time here is because we want to emphasize the switching, going between two chords, so you're making the same shape over and over again. Because if you just hold a shape down for a while, you're not really making the shape. You only made it once, and then you're holding it. You want to keep changing to and from it. That's the best way to do it. Also, if you find that you're not familiar with these chords, you can check out our free ebook. We go over all the essential chords, strumming patterns, um, chord progressions, all the stuff you need to get started pretty much. So um, there's a link down below. Feel free to check that out. Otherwise, let's go for it. We'll start out by making a G chord. Now make a D chord. Go back to G, and now back to D. You may have noticed that these two chords share a common finger. In this case, the third finger remains in the same spot for both of them. Keeping this finger down, rather than letting go of the fretboard entirely, gives you a reference point and helps make the chord switching more fluid. Now that we know how to switch between these two chords, remembering that they share a common finger, it's time to practice switching and start building our muscle memory. To do that, we'll play the chord switching game. We're going to switch chords every four beats. G, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. The first time, we're only going to strum them once each, and that gives us all that time. Two, three, four, to switch and have the next chord ready. We'll show you, then we'll try it together. G, switch, 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 D, switch, switch, switch. Now let's try it together. One, two, three, four. G, switch, switch, switch. D, switch, switch, switch. Nice. Now we're ready to challenge ourselves further. We'll strum each chord twice now, leaving just three, four to switch. Like this. G, G, switch, switch, D, D, switch, switch. So let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Switch, switch, D, D, switch, switch. Great! Now we'll play each chord three times and only have beat four to switch on. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Finally, we'll try strumming each one four times, switching right after the fourth strum. It should take a few practice sessions to get to this point. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. So 
it's really important that you don't let yourself get discouraged here, especially during those last few exercises where the switch has to be made pretty quickly. This is something that you need to build up over time. What's important is that you do it consistently. If you really want to see results, practice this stuff every day and make sure you do it right. Make sure you take the time to do it right. Don't just rush through it because if you do it a lot of times slowly the right way, that's what you'll remember. Rather than rushing through it and memorizing how to rush through it and almost get it. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on social media. Visit us at goodguitarist.com. We'll see you next time.